Let's start with the KD trees, so the trees where the query path alternates between X and Y coordinate. Let's look at one example. So we have these 10 points here in two dimensions, and now we want to construct the KD tree on this. So in the first step, we want to separate them with a vertical line. And we just take the median, in this case this is the point P5, to split it into those that lie to the left and those that lie to the right. So we want to split any region that contains more than one point by either a vertical or a horizontal line. And at the same time we want to build again a binary search tree that we can then use to do our query. So the first split is by line L1 vertically. And now we go into those two regions. So let's go to the left and now we want to split it with a horizontal line. And again we take the median, we have these five points here. The median here is P2, so we take the line L2 and that gives us what lies above and what lies below. And we have another node here that splits it by the line L2. And then we continue in this part, we split it with the median into the left and right part, we split it again here and we, here we only have one point. So the first thing that's important is to which regions do these points belong that lie on the boundary? And that is just a question of definition. You can define however you want. Do they belong to the left or to the right? Do they belong to the top or the bottom? But you should be consistent. Or what we define here, that the horizontal split lines belong to the region below and the vertical split lines belong to the region to the left. So this point P1 lies in this region the point P2 lies in this region, P3 in this one. Up here we have two points, P4 and P5, so we have to split again. That gives us one region with P4, one with P5, and then the same way on the right side for these five points, we have to do our split lines. This were horizontal split, and we do a vertical. Now we have a horizontal, we have these three regions, and one more split here for these two points, which gives us two more regions. And now we've divided the plane into these rectangular regions. And in every of these rectangular regions, there's exactly one point or on the boundary of it. So let's try to formalize this process. We want to now write in pseudocode our algorithm, how we can construct this KD tree from a set of points. And we want to do that um, recursively. So we want to build a um, function, build KD tree that has some points and that knows which depth of the algorithm it is right now. And if there's only one point, then we only want to return the leaf that stores this point. But if there are more, then we have to check, is the depth even? Or is it odd? In the even case, we want to split with a vertical line. So we want to find the line L with the coordinate x equals to the median of all these points with respect to the x coordinate. So in this case, we have 10 points. The median we can define as um, the x coordinate of point 5. And then we split it into two sets, P1, those points that lie to the left or on the line, and P2, those lie to the right. And if it's uh, the depth is odd, then we do the same thing horizontally, split it into two sets, P1, that has everything below or on the line, and P2, that has everything above. How do we continue when we have these two sets? We want to recursively build a KD tree for these two sets. So we want to recursively build the KD tree for this left part P1 and for the right part P2. And there the depth is one further. So if it was even now, then it is odd in the next step. And this gives us two KD trees and those we want to combine to a larger KD tree. So we get these two trees from the recursive function and we want to build another node that corresponds to this line L, that is the splitting line. So we place it here and its two children are those two KD trees that we built. So it has left child and right child, we left and we right. 
and then we only have to return this node to the parent and if we are at the root, we are done, we've built the KD tree, otherwise the parent will take this KD tree and add it as a left or right child and in this way we finish the construction.